it's time to do the snake head. This is going to be the entrance for the base. In case you're just coming across this video, this is actually the second part. The first part is the tower itself, where I build the whole thing. And the second part is just going to be the actual snake part of it. So you've got the first layer right up flush up against the tower. And I'm just going to go layer by layer, or the snake head anyway. I broke it down for you to make it a little easier. Okay, I'm starting the second layer here. You'll notice that I'm using the polished blackstone just because it's easier to see where the placement is. If I use the regular blackstone, it just all bleeds together. It's really hard to see, so that's the only reason I'm using this. But I think it looks better if you use the actual blackstone. I'm going to use that. And then uh, on the scales, I'm going to not be using the prismarine because same deal. So it's not going to look as good. It's going to be uh, stone but uh, you're going to see where the blocks go and which blocks I'm actually using. Oh, and if you're curious, the scales, what I'm using here is just polished andesite. And beyond the snake head and entrance, the snake is going to be a little too difficult to do layer by layer all the way up. So what I've done is uh, tearing it down backwards and then reverse it so it looks like I'm going forward. And that's just for the snake body. That's after we finish this entrance part. You'll notice it when we get there. So just follow along with what I'm doing. Now I'm going to try to go step by step so you can see it all clearly and then show you from an angle just so you can kind of see where you should be at. The uh, entire build is going to be available on my Patreon. You can just download the whole thing there if you want to. Oh, and if the Blackstone and Dark Prismarine are too expensive, or you're doing this in survival maybe, you can use any block that you want. Um, I would just keep contrasting colors. If you do a lighter body, do darker scales and vice versa. Or if you do it all in stone, I'm sure that would look fine. It, it will look better if you have uh, one darker and one lighter, just so that it stands out and you can tell the difference. But like you saw on my snakes video with the giant snakes, there's lots of different combinations that will work. That will look good. If you want to check that for reference, cool. Otherwise, just you could just stick with stone and cobblestone. Obviously, it's going to look better if you go a little more drastically different than that, but uh, it'll still work. But whatever blocks you do use, just realize that you're going to need the block, the stair, and the slab version. I put a few walls on the body of the snake, uh, just because it seemed to smooth it out a little bit better. But if you don't, if you choose something that doesn't have a wall, that's fine. You can leave it blank or put something else there. It's probably not going to make that much of a difference, but I'm a, I'm a stickler, so that's why I use some walls here and there. Okay, I think the uh, rest of this part is going to be pretty self-explanatory. Just uh, follow along what I'm doing. Be careful with your block placement, but I think it's pretty easy to see what's going on from this point. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. It helps me out a whole lot. But regardless, I'm going to keep making tutorials to try to help you guys out. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. If you have any ideas, I'm always listening. I'll leave you to it for a few minutes, and then I'm going to hop back in when you're finishing up with the head. So I'll see you in just a few.
Alright, so now we're just putting on the last little bits here. Uh, we've got that. I think we're just going to do the fangs. And then a little more tongue. <laughs> and uh, that's it. There you go. It either looks like that or uh, I'm going to go show you the original so you can see what that looks like. There it is. There. If you did the original blocks, that's what it should be looking like. And now we're going to get into the big snake part of it. Remember that this part is uh, actually torn down backwards and then is going to be put in reverse. So I may do a few things out of order and you might see the odd floating block or <laughs> just something looks horribly wrong. That's why, because it's just in backwards. We're going to start here on the side, right uh, where you should have left off with your neck. I may be a block or two off from where you ended, but um, I think if you look at it, you'll catch up pretty quick. I tried to line the two up as good as possible, but if something's missing, just fill it in. It's going to be pretty obvious, I think. Towards the end, you're going to notice near the top, you're going to have to probably tear out some of the roof and maybe a little bit of wall. Just do what you think is best. It should be pretty obvious what you'll need to take out when the time comes. Go ahead and leave a comment if you have any issues or questions. I'll see if I can answer. Okay, I'm going to back off now. I'll let you get into it. Uh, I'll
Okay, you should be doing the finishing touches. I hope it worked out well. I'm sure there was a problem or two. You can let me know about it, but I hope it went well overall. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.